Hi guys, Mahinder here from Endeavor PT Study Center. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please hit subscribe button now so that you do not miss any PT updates from us. In this video, we are going to have a look at a question from reading module from our portal. Now, if you are enrolled with us, you already have access to our study portal. But if you are not enrolled with us, you can right now make a login on our study portal by visiting our website at www.endeavorstudy.com.au. In this free login, you will have access to all the latest exam questions with their answers and explanations, as well as you will have access to unlimited mock tests through our study portal. Now, the students who have not attempted this question before, you must pause this video here and take two or two and a half minutes to solve this question and write all your answers in your notebook. Formed two million years ago when low density salt was pushed up through much harder materials surrounding it. The Cardona Salt Mountain is one of the largest domes of its kind in the world and unique in Europe. So they're talking of a some kind of what they're talking Cardona salt mountain they're talking of something which is a, a mountain made up of salt okay and then uh, they're saying one of the largest domes do you know dome so something like you see uh, temples and stuff yeah they have dome they're dome shaped not like a uh, normal roof of the house but it is a dome shape round roof or pointed roof it could be yeah 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 like Taj Mahal yeah so dome, so they're talking of dome. So domes of uh, its kinds in world and unique in Europe. While small amounts of other pervade the savory hills, the salt pile would have a near translucent quality if not for the thin dash of reddish clay coating in the exterior. So what would be minerals? They're talking of salt. Yes. They're talking of? salt here and salt is a kind of mineral and they're comparing there would be other minerals too not anything else so I say other things material sources when you have other we definitely need a plural so when we have other right small amounts of other i would go for uh, something related to plural in that context so we have uh, two of them they are plural okay so I won't go for things in two generalized minerals because they're talking of salt and they're talking of salt mountain. That's how we apply elimination. Pervade, do you know what is the meaning of pervade? Some especially spread through and be perceived in every part of. So spread through, something when spread through. Okay, so that is pervade. Pervade the savory hills, the salt pile would have a near translucent. Do you know what is the translucent? Transparent. No, no. it is exactly opposite to transparent. Dundala, I think. Yes. Okay. So transparent when you can see through a glass, that's transparent and translucent when you cannot see through. Um, so it's a quality if not for translucent quality, if not for the thin dash of reddish clay coating, the exteriors. Layer. 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 Should be layer, thin layer. That's a very common collocation. They're talking of something which is translucent and then they're talking of coating. So that's a layer. Yep, coating, clay coating. That means a layer. The significance of the mountain was recognized. Recognized. Something was recognized as early as Middle Ages when Romans began exploiting the mountain for its salt, which began to bolster, to bolster. Bolster means lead here, kind of lead here. Uh, with the invention of industrial mining techniques, techniques. industrial mining techniques. A mine was built into the side of mountain and a thriving facility, 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 facility formed as its base as excavators. See that excavators, excavators. So excavator is something that excavates. So what do you know what is excavate? Excavate means bring out something. From the ground, you bring out something by digging. That is known, that process is known as excavation. The person or a machine that will do it, that would be excavator. Okay. Excavators dragged enormous amounts of potash, which is water soluble salt from innards of the hill. In addition to the mineral export, the locals of Cardona began making salt sculptures. 
salt sculptures to sell and invented a, a number of hard salty pastries unique to the area. So sculpture is a generalized term. Sculpture could be something uh, which is there to be used in day-to-day -day thing or something which is uniquely made for um, aesthetic purposes for decoration and stuff. But when we talk of dish, it would be narrowed down in just something which is used for use. So they're talking of with salt, they made sculptures rather than just dishes because sculpture will, can also include dishes too. It's a, it's a broad word. This is pretty much what you do in filling the blanks. You just keep in mind, what are you reading? Your comprehension, what the passage is about. When you look for options, always apply elimination technique. Look for some grammar clues as well. Always look the surrounding words too and whether the word you have chosen, does that sit in the word or not. Don't uh, you know, straight away go for the word for which you don't know the meaning of, okay? Because there would be some difficult words there. You will not, it is not possible to know meaning of all the words, whatever you read. So it's a vocabulary building is a constant process. I will always try to see what this word could mean in that particular context. That's super important. So that if you're not able to find clear meaning, you are able to derive tentative meaning of the word and apply elimination. If you have like 60, 65% of accuracy in reading and writing fill in the blanks, a little bit higher, 60 to 70, that'll be good for 65 plus blanks, depending on how well you do in read aloud and stuff. Um, but if you have uh, less than that, and if it's high on 65 plus, you need to keep working with the blanks. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you like this video, please share it with your friends who may be preparing for PTE. If you have any questions, you can also uh, write them in the comment section of this video. I'll see you guys in my next video with more questions and explanations. Till then, bye bye, take care and stay safe. Thank you.